name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, on this fifth Sunday of Lent, we draw near and closer to the greatest week in the life of the Church, the week of Holy Week, in which we suffer his triumphant entrance into Jerusalem, and then his passion and death, followed by the greatest feast, the greatest blessing, his resurrection. But as we draw closer to the week of Holy Week and Jesus' passion and death, Jesus tells us today, reminds us in the gospel today, that unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground, it dies and remains just the grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. And he says, whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life will preserve it for eternal life. And then he says, now is the time of judgment on this world. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw myself, draw everyone to myself, indicating the kind of death he would die. And what is great and wonderful about this passage from the gift of St. John is that St. John is always drawing us our attention that everything happens because of the cross. That his whole writing of the Gospel of John draws us to, to see the experience of the cross as the pinnacle both of Jesus' passion but also his resurrection. That without the cross, we cannot share in that promise of eternal life and love. And it's the psalm response in addition that helps us to and reminds us of why this season of Lent is a penitential season. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Psalm 51 reminds us that we have to ask God for his mercy, for his goodness, and for his compassion. We want him to wash away our guilt. That grace and gift of the sacrament of reconciliation helps us to be so that we can be cleansed of our sins to participate fully in that same passion, death, and resurrection of Christ that through the gift of his dying on the cross, through the gift of his being pierced with the lance, the sacramental actions of the church were poured out for us. And what we want and what we desire in this great season of Lent is this very gift of a clean heart and a steadfast spirit. Jesus tells us and he reminds us in the gospel that I am troubled now. What should I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it is this hour that he has been called to do. To suffer and die for us. To save us. To help us experience that grace, that compassion, that love, that peace, that joy that he pours out for us. Part of our journey in this Lenten season was, in fact, to learn how to die to ourselves. And if, if you're like most of us, we've had our good days and we've had our bad days. Days that we were successful in keeping focused on the Lord. And days that truly were an occasion of sin. Truly were feelings of selfishness and, and, and feelings of, of worthlessness as we failed in our Lenten observances. But the Lord wants us to persevere. He wants us to continue to trust in Him because if we trust in Him, He will steadfastly bring us back to that joy of salvation, bring us back to Him. And of course, as always, it's the grace and blessing of knowing and realizing that every sinner that turns back to God, there's joy in heaven every opportunity that we have to trust in God instead of ourselves and to seek his mercy and his forgiveness, there's great joy in heaven. But part of that is that dying to our pride and our selfishness, that dying to that incapacity to trust in God. The Lord has freed us from our sins. The Lord will suffer and die for us because he loves us and he wants to save us. We must not forget that to get to resurrection, we have to celebrate and go through the gore and the, and the glory of the cross. Dying to self, 
allows the Lord to rise up in us and allows us to rise up with him. Remember that our hour, our passion, and our death will bring us to the joy of the resurrection if we continue to practice that gift of reconciliation, to practice that gift of faith and hope and love, and to continue to surrender and die to ourselves so that the glory and words and wisdom and spirit of God can reign in us. To see Jesus is to find him in others. To seek Jesus is to seek reconciliation. And to know Jesus is to share his word and his love with others. In this rest of our Lenten journey, and as we journey closer to that passion and death of Christ, May we embrace our crosses. May we trust in God's mercy and his forgiveness and his compassion and his kindness. And most of all, may we ask him to create in us a clean heart so that we will have joy and that gift of salvation that Christ purchased through us through his passion and death. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.